Everyone talks about the pasture so easily. They talk about how the pasture suit looks so nice and new, and how his truck looks just as sharp too. They talk about how lovely his wife plays piano, and how gracefully she sings soprano. They talk about how wild and rambunctious the kids are, but they seem to be turning out respectful so far. They talk about how far the church has come, and new converts, they got some. They talk about how nice the pastor and his family act, and how they care so much, that's a fact. They talk all nice and pleasant, at least for the present. When he makes them mad, then they talk differently. Then they really talk about the pastor easily. They talk about all God's blessed him with. He's materialistic. They talk about his heartfelt testimonies. He's narcissistic. They talk about his preaching. He's outdated. They talk about his obvious anointing. He's overrated. They talk about his unrelenting worship. He's just theatrical. They talk about his God-given advice. He's just judgmental. They talk and they talk, building him up and then tearing him down. But you know what no one ever talks about? The burden of the pastor. They're quick to point out everything he's gained, but not everything he's lost. Everything he's done for the church, but not how much it cost. No one talks about how the faces of one's lost and gone still haunt him, or how he's not able to give up, no matter if things look grim. No one talks about all the souls and responsibilities he has to carry, or how the mounts and mounts of bills each day seem scary. No one talks about how, for him, each church member isn't just a treasured face, it's another soul he has to account for at the end of his race. No one talks about how consistent he has to be, whether he feels it or not. It's all exhausting. It's all a lot. Good days he preaches, bad days he preaches. Rejoicing he preaches, mourning he preaches. Refreshed he preaches, drained he preaches. Carefree he preaches, overwhelmed he preaches. No matter the day, no matter the crisis, He's expected to show up. He's expected to guide us. Day in and day out, he does it. Through praise and gossip, he does it. Through smiles and tears, he does it. Through good times and bad times, he does it. Through sunny days and stormy nights, he does it. Through blessings and trials, he does it. Through it all, he does it. Why? Because that's the burden of the pastor. Pastor, we see you. Pastor, we hear you. Pastor, we pray for you. And Pastor, we appreciate you.